Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Repair Plus plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin with loads of unique features to help your players repair their items. So first of all, if we do forward slash RP, um, we can see all of the commands. Now here we have an anvil, and if we were to left click it, it brings up a GUI and we can repair our item in three different ways. So we can use money to repair it, we can use a particular item to repair it, so in this case an iron axe needs an iron ingot, or you can use XP. So if we click iron ingot and then yes or no, um, it will be taken from our hand, there will be a cool particle effect and then it will be repaired. So let's go ahead and try it again with maybe a stone shovel. Obviously we don't have any stones so we could use some XP and we're going to click yes. And there we go. So as you can see, my XP went from 10 to 9, and our stone shovel is completely repaired. So the way you can edit this is pop down an anvil, and then do forward slash RP, and then inf. What this will do is enable infinity for the anvil so it doesn't break, which is fantastic. You can do forward slash RP particles, and this will give some cool particles coming from it so players know um, that it's a special anvil. And then you can do forward slash RP hollow, um, which will tell players how to use it. So shift left click with an item, so diamond axe, and we're going to use our economy or money to repair it. And there we go, that's how you use it in game. Obviously if you change anything in the config file, you can use RP reload, and that will reload all of your configs and language files. The last one is obviously RP help, and that just tells you all of the different commands um, that you have. So that is everything in-game. As you can see, it's very easy to use. It's really awesome. I love this GUI, and the developer has made it very well. So we are going to have a look at the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the config file. So in here, there are some pretty cool things you can do. So up at the top, there is a timeout amount. So after 200 ticks, if there is some sort of glitch or error, it will time out and you will get your item back. Then we have the item cost, economy cost, and XP cost equations. So depending on um, the durability, as you can see here, um, it's a pretty complicated equation really. Um, it will take a different amount of XP. So if you've got a really damaged weapon or item, it will obviously take more XP or money in order to um, repair it. But you could change this. Um, I think it's fine how it is. You can mess around, test how good and bad it is, etc. Then we have um, the enchanted item multiplier, so if your item is enchanted, it will cost a lot more, double in fact, um, to repair. Then we have the icons, which are in the GUI, the glass, which appears in the GUI, and whether you want rainbow glass effect in the GUI as well, but you don't have to have that. Uh, do you want permissions or not? and whether you want to enable the default anvil function. So I disable that. I think this is much more interesting, looks a lot cooler. And then we pretty much have all of the data. So all of the anvils that are placed around the world and whether they use hollow particle and whether they're infinite or not. So that is pretty much everything in the config file. There's also a language file you can look at, but you don't have to change that. Um, but this is a fantastic plugin, works really well. You can obviously download it in the link in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest servers around. And if you need to check me out, I'll be in the description as well. So that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.